starts now. Good evening, I'm Renee Cooper. Thanks for joining us for KX News at 10. Leading the news tonight, two new cases of the coronavirus were tested positive in North Dakota today. One is from Burley County and is travel related. The other is from Pierce County, which was a contact spread. Four people out of the 30 cases statewide are now hospitalized. Governor Doug Burgum says tests are currently taking two to three days to turn around results. He says Cass County has about 300 tests and they were sent to a different lab nationally, which is why there's only one confirmed case from that county so far. The lab they were sent to has been overwhelmed and it's on about a seven day turnaround. Cass County cases are expected to rise once those results are back. The governor stressed today North Dakota is no longer low on tests and the requirements to get tested have not changed since Friday. I want to test people that have had uh, that are either if they're in a vulnerable population, they've got symptoms, or they're at risk, meaning at risk of having been in contact with someone who's a known positive or a known travel location, or if they are at risk because they're working in the medical profession and they may have been in contact. Well, Governor Burgum says he's also been in regular contact with tribal nations in North Dakota. He says he had calls with tribal leaders and thanks them for their efforts to help and stay ahead of COVID-19. He says there are currently 10 workers at the state lab working on testing for coronavirus. Governor Burgum says people need to continue practicing individual responsibility and social distancing. It's going to protect you. It's going to protect your family. It's going to protect people that you've never met before. Uh, and so we just, again, uh, keep appealing to people's uh, concern, not only for their self, for their self concern, but for the community. We've got to be thinking about more than ourselves uh, right now. As Burgum says outside of the Fargo Sanford, there are not any other counties with large amounts of pending tests. Well, Burgum also signed an executive order today giving K-12 school districts until March 27th to submit plans for distance learning. School districts have until April 1st to have their plan approved by the governor and the state superintendent. Well, after President Trump